everybody so today is a perfume rotation video one of my favorites to film as you know um, and this rotation is going to be also sort of a combination video for perfume rotation and Christmas perfume picks so this whole two weeks around Christmas and New Year are special time for me I love wearing perfume as you know and I actually select a specific rotation just for this time of year so I'll show you what I have in today. Some of them are not going to be surprised and some of them might be. The first one I picked is my interesting pick for the group and this is Ecstasy by Tiziana Terenzi. I've spoken about this range before. I have uh, two fragrances, this one and Lodana Nero. And why am I picking this? This is quite an interesting pick for me and I did not expect myself to make this selection, but this is actually quite lovely in terms of creating this wintry Christmas mood. It has spruce, it has some um, coniferous trees uh, and it's just, it's a really fresh winter, um, winter forest kind of scent. And it creates in my mind this picture of you and your family in a cold winter crisp day taking an axe out and going to cut down the Christmas tree to bring back home. And this is you in the forest. There's something really crisp but slightly warming about it. There's lots of woods. There is tree sap, um, needles, the green needles. Very, very wintry fragrance and Christmas in this classic sort of uh, 1930s way of appreciating Christmas. Very, very beautiful, very uh, unique and definitely, definitely uh, unisex. So there's no way this fragrance is one way or another. It's really authentically scented environmental smell so anybody can wear it. So this is quite an interesting pick and I would say if you are on a lookout for interesting winter fragrance, this really reminds me of some of the really interesting uh, Tom Ford exclusive picks. There's one in particular, I'll try to remember to leave the name of this Tom Ford scent below. I was kind of after it for a while, but the $400 price tag sort of deterred me for a time being. And then I have come across this one and I've gone through two trial sizes and I just, I couldn't help myself. It creates the same kind of winter forest uh, evergreen sensation that I crave this time of the year. So this could be a, a cool one to check out. The next one is not going to be a surprise because years and years, decades, a decade and a half I think, it's been since I started using cocoa during winter and specifically for Christmas. This is my Christmas scent. This is what I wear for Christmas. Every year for the last n number of years. And I've spoken about this perfume before and I've done a whole review about it. Um, if you're interested in more detail, obviously find that. But this one is just such a beautiful, spicy floral with a little bit of, a little bit of uh, um, plum pudding <laughs> reference as well. There's a certain fruitiness to it that goes with the spices. There's a, a touch of mulled wine. It's just an absolutely gorgeous vintage inspired scent. It's very, very cozy. Um, it creates a sense of this cashmere wrap. Just, it's so soft and feminine and it's so cozy um, that I totally recommend you try it out. This is, I think, one of the underappreciated Chanel's. Not everybody will handle this kind of a scent, but I'm telling you for Christmas, it's quite perfect. And I've spoken about it this before. It creates this sensation of beginning of 20th century England, um, sort of, uh, uh, get away when the family gets together, not in London, somewhere maybe in Chester, I don't know. And they they have the cook make this beautiful pudding and uh, they hide the prize in the pudding and then they find it during Christmas dinner. This is this is my, my reference point, I think. Although the perfume, I believe, was created in the 80s, to me, it's really referencing initially the time of 1920s, 1930s. This kind of is the time of Shalimar. This is, this is a very, very beautiful, wonderfully crafted perfume. I'm so happy that it's still sold. I urge you to check it out if you are into these spicy florals with a vintage vibe. It's very, very cool. Um, next one is also has been a pick for winter per fragrances for me, but I, uh, I saved it 
for New Year's. I think this is going to be a New Year's scent for me. And I think I'm, this is going to be also probably multiple years kind of New Year's scent. This I have talked about previously, and this is an excessive, crazy, boozy, wonderful concoction of everything you can think of. Um, it's very, it's it's sweet, it's spicy. There's some spiced rum in it. There is there there is a sweetness of the dried fruit. It's a little bit dry, but it's very juicy at the same time. It's a contradiction in a bottle, um, and somehow with all this insane excess, it's really kind of sophisticated. But this is the beauty of By Kelly, and they make really interesting artisanal fragrances that you can't get anywhere else. And this is it. You can't get this anywhere else. It's absolutely insanity in a bottle kind of perfume. Very, very complex composition. If you enjoy very complex fragrances, this is certainly one of those. Um, we have here just an absolutely insane uh, dance of various horrifically uh, loose and just excessive party animal um, scent. So Black Phantom, if I haven't mentioned, by Killian, uh, is just an incredibly easy to enjoy craziness. A very gourmand, this is definitely a gourmand scent, which I don't usually go for, but there isn't this excessive sugary sweetness. There is definitely a sweet scent, but it isn't like headache inducing sweet. Um, it's very, very concentrated. And I think it's very easy to like. Also, obviously, would be a unisex scent, just like most by Killians, but uh, this is something to pick up if you enjoy this excess sort of idea for, for a party fragrance. I think beautiful, beautiful party pick. There is nothing reserved about this scent. It is out there and it is going to draw attention for sure. This scent is absolutely a New Year's party, cut it loose sort of scent. And I do enjoy it a lot. It's not my usual sort of fragrance, but I really recommend you try it out because I do think it's very, very unique. Next one is more of a sex kitten fragrance. And this one I've shown you last year, last winter. This is Alien Essence Absolute by Thierry Moublé. Um, this is a beautiful, sweet amber scent with lots and lots of uh, soft wafty van vanilla and uh, some tonka beans and just this concoction of sweet ambery goodness. It's very warm. Um, I think it's quite sexy. So this I would recommend wear with caution, quite sexy fragrance. And it's a, a beautiful, beautiful pick for amber sweet kind of lovers. Um, if you enjoy those sorts of fragrances, I think this is really, really interesting. Um, and then the last one is actually going to be, I'm sure you're going to be happy to hear about it because I'm finally using it tons and I'm actually going to film a video in the next one or two days uh, detailing the, this particular fragrance and this is Guerlain Black Perfecto. Uh, from the La Petit Rome Noir range. If you know my videos, you know that I, I like to really wear the fragrance in before I talk about it in detail because I am not a channel which uh, does first impressions. I prefer to really sort of form an idea or thought behind some fragrance or makeup item I review because to me that's the most useful thing for consumers. Therefore, I don't necessarily discuss the freshest on the market kinds of scents, but I do discuss scents that I have worn at least maybe 10 to 15 times and I am able to comment on them. So this one I really wore a lot and um, actually I probably thirded it at this point, maybe quartered it. There's probably a quarter gone already. So I put my mind to and my nose to it. I have to say I'm impressed and Guerlain has, had not been impressing me recently with their fragrance releases with the Mont Guerlain. The previous La Petit Noir iteration with the blueberry it was not my thing. I thought it was you know, uh, just a bit of a shoddy workmanship and they could have done better. But this one, this one I have to say really did impress me. I think they added just the right mix of notes. Um, if you know La Petit Renoir range, it's very, very uh, heavily 
berry based and it's quite sweet um, sort of jammy very very jammy fragrances and uh, they they really created this line to cater towards this super sweet trend in perfumery I think this is still within that trend and there's nothing wrong with that and it's still a gourmand and there's tons of cherry very sweet still jammy but they did add what they say is leather to me really smells like very very soft processed suede and it is a much more sophisticated version a, a really nice twist on La Petit Rome Noir I think La Petit Rome Noir can come off a little bit juvenile just because of the nature of the fragrance it's well constructed for sure but because of the kind of fragrance it is it's really associated with young millennials 10 years ago or 5 years ago uh, but La Perfecto it has sophistication to it it has a touch of grounding in the what they call leather but I think it's more suede and they have a lot more woodiness to it uh, notes are very well tied together. They're grounded not just in sweetness, sweetness but there is a, there's lots of uh, rosy undertones to it. It makes it quite a lot more perfumery and less edible, per se. And the cherry is smokier. To me, this, whatever combination they've done with the top notes, it really mellowed down the uh, sugariness of the cherry. Uh, it's still sweet, but it's much more grounded and there's a dusty quality to it which I think is very sophisticated so for me if you're going to pick something out of the range and I've tried everything that's in that Leptil Noir range I don't currently own anything else except for the Black Perfecto and obviously the original uh, I've used up a few bottles uh, recently but Black Perfecto I think is a really worthwhile pick I think if I was to go for one piece from that collection from a, that whole line is going to be the Black Perfecto version. I think this is the most sophisticated, most well, well constructed, and most interesting and unique version. And there is something more to it than just sweet cherry pie. You know, it's um, it's it's much more thoughtful, I thought, and very wearable because it isn't such a sugary scent. It's really quite quite a lot more wearable for every day. Weirdly, if applied with a light hand, because it is. A sillage, high sillage perfume for sure. There's lots of throw there. Just really pleasantly surprised and happy with this formulation because, quite honestly, Guerlain has not been um, has not been pulling their weight recently. But I think they're back on track with this guy. Very, very good. Very much advise you to check it out if you're a fan of these scents. Um, kind of reminds me of where. Uh, decadence from Marc Jacobs is trying to go. Um, they're they they are not the same at all, and they don't smell the same. But they're the same spirit of a perfume. But I think where Marc Jacobs de decadence really fails due to plasticky uh, quality of ingredients. If you like that one, I think you will really really like this one because this one actually smells. Um, it, there's there's nothing plastic or unnatural about about Black Perfecto. I think Black Perfecto is very very well crafted. So if you like Marc Jacobs Decadence and that sort of style of perfume, I think this one is going to be really lovely for you. So that's it for today. Those are the fragrances that I've uh, picked for my Christmas slash New Year's rotation. Christmas is probably going to be more obviously co cocoa because that's my jam and ecstasy for more winter sort of cold weather occasions but not for Christmas. Um, for every day in between I'll be wearing those two guys um, and for New Year's and maybe like the day before and the day after for sure Black Phantom is going to be it because this is crazy party in the, in the bottle and that's what I want to smell like for New Year's. So that's it for today. I hope it was fun for you guys to see what kind of things I've, I've thrown into my Christmas rotation. Basically see what kind of recommendations I have for you to check out for Christmas related scents. And uh, obviously the explanations of why I think those are appropriate. That's it for today. Have a good day. See you guys later. Bye bye.